kitchen and welcome to my channel cake I'm your hostess Suzanne happy International Happiness Day <laughs> it's here we all need to keep happy and keep a smile on our face and I thought I'd make you a cake <laughs> hopefully that will help if you'd like to know how I made this cake and how you can make it too just keep watching I just found out that today is International Day of Happiness. I think we could use a little bit of happiness today. So I decided to see if I could go ahead and make a video and upload it all in one day. <laughs> we'll see. I have a eight inch cake drum here. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here on my turntable. I have made a batch of my American butter cream. I will leave that video link down in the description box below for you guys. I used some Wilton lemon yellow, mostly the lemon yellow, and a little bit of the buttercup just to kind of tone down the brightness of the yellow. I made my white cake for this and I baked it in a six inch sphere. It did not make a full ball, so I don't know if I didn't put enough batter in my pans or I trimmed too much off. Anyhow, I went ahead and cut a half of a layer of another six inch regular cake and put it in between to create this sphere, this ball shape, this head shape for a smiley face. Let's go ahead and give it a crumb coat. And I learned when I was making my pot for my pot of gold St. Patrick's Day cake that when you're frosting a sphere, you always start with the bottom first. <laughs> Learn that one the hard way. Go ahead and put a little bit of frosting here as the crumb coat. Let's go ahead and use our Flexi Smoother to smooth it out. This goes against all of the rules in decorating, but I'm gonna add my final coat now. <laughs> Just another layer. Typically you would chill this in between, but once I get this on this cake board, I'm not gonna take it off again. And I wanna get this bottom really nice and smooth. So we're gonna do all at one time. I'm gonna go ahead and put my cake drum on my cake. I think that's probably gonna be the best way to do this. Last time I did my pot, I kind of skidded it. <laughs> so today we're gonna do it this way. See if I can get it right in the center. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and fill this layer. Let's go ahead and put our insert, <laughs> insert it in the middle. Squish it down pretty good. Let's go ahead and put the top of the head on. Make sure it's level. Let's go ahead and fill in those gaps between the layers. And now we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the freezer for the rest of the cake to get the crumb coat. See you in a second. Okay, our International Day of Happiness Smiley Cake just came out of the freezer. It was in there for 15 minutes after I gave it its filling. Let's go ahead and give it a crumb coat. Back in the freezer for 15 minutes and Nyx will give it its final coat. Let's put a little bit of shortening on the prep table. That just helps the fondant from sticking to it. And it acts as a good lotion. <laughs> there we go. As much as I'm washing my hands these days, you guys, I need all the Crisco I can get on my hands. <laughs> I've dyed some fondant soft pink from AmeriColor. 
We're gonna be making the cheeks with this. I have my round cookie cutters, the one and a quarter. Like that. Let's go ahead and give our International Day of Happiness smiley face cake, that's a mouthful, its final coat. Our International Day of Happiness cake is almost done. Let's go ahead and put on the cheeks first. Let's go ahead and see where we want these cheeks to go. Just a little bit of water on my finger. almost looks like an alien right now. <laughs> looks kind of like their eyes are lower and pulled apart. It looks cute. Let's go ahead and add the eyebrows and the smiling. I've dyed some fondant black. We're going to divide this into half. Half of it will be the mouth. Half-ish. And then the other half will divide in half again for the eyebrows. There we go, just like that. I'm just making a sausage with the ends tapered in just a little bit. This is gonna be its mouth. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of water on the back side of this smile. Just a little bit. And we want it to touch the ends of the cheeks. It was a little too heavy, it wouldn't stick on, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some toothpicks in the mouth and try it again. Because I used a big roll, a big log of fondant instead of a flat strip, it's not wanting to stick on, but I wanted that three-dimensional look to it, so I'm sticking with this until it fails me completely. <laughs> so far, I think we're okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make the eyes. Basically, it's just a curved sausage. Our International Day of Happiness Smiley Cake is completed. I think it's cute. I'm not sure if this is the exact logo. I found it on the internet. I hope it's the right one. If not, it's just a cute smiley face, okay? Hope it brings a little bit of joy to your day. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. It really does mean the world to me. And thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers as well, all of you. Thank you. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so as quick and it's easy. And if you like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you have any comments, please leave those down in the comment section down below. Let's keep our chins up and a smile on our face. We can make it through this hard times positive attitudes and be kind to each other. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I'm having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. 
Until next time, make it a great day.